question here is, what is polarized light? You hear the term all the time. You go out, you maybe you buy a pair of polarized sunglasses or basically polarizing sunglasses. And, and you ask yourself, what is the value of having those sunglasses over just regular old sunglasses? Other than the fact that they might cost more. Well, it's important to understand then, I guess, what polarized light really is. And basically put, polarized light is light that vibrates in only one direction. Let me take a few minutes and explain that. Well, if you look at the diagram here, the diagram that you see is representing, representing a light wave that is vibrating and moving to the right. It's a transverse wave and it appears to be vibrating. In this case, it appears to be vibrating vertically. In other words, up and down. The vibrations are up and down. But light waves don't just vibrate vertically. They also vibrate horizontally. And you can see that uh, in this next diagram. I've added here a, a horizontally vibrating wave. But of course, it it only appears to you like a like a red line because you're looking at it from the side from a side view so here you have the vertical and horizontal vibrating waves if you were to look at this from above in other words if you were up here at point X and you were looking down at this from that dimension then what you would see would be something like this. You'd see the horizontally vibrating waves that I've illustrated here in red and the and the vertical vibrating waves would now appear as a straight line. So this is looking at it from the side and this is looking at those two wave vibrations from the top like that. Well let's take this to the next level, don't forget that waves don't just vibrate vertically and horizontally, they also vibrate in other dimensions in between the vertical and the horizontal. So in blue I've illustrated a wave that's vibrating at some angle to the horizontal and vertical, somewhere in between horizontal and vertical. And it's still this bunch of vibrating waves is moving towards the, the right, from left to right. Well, if you can imagine a wave consisting of a whole bunch of vibrations, both vertical, horizontal, and all those angles in between, and if that wave were coming towards you, let's suppose you were, you were out here, and here's your eye, and you're looking towards the wave coming towards you, and what you might see would be something similar to this where you see the horizontal vibrations representing in represented in red the vertical vibrations represented in black and all those other vibrations between the horizontal and the vertical represented in blue and that's coming towards you so light vibrates in all different dimensions vertical horizontal and all angles in between those waves are not just vibrating vertical and horizontal. So here's another question. What would happen if that wave which is vibrating vertically and horizontally uh, vertically right there there's a vertical vibration, horizontal vibration and then all these different direct vibrations in between. What happens if that wave approaches a barrier that's made of very closely spaced slats. What happens when the wave reaches this barrier? Well, obviously some light's going to go th go between the slats, but what's going to happen is this. As this light wave approaches this barrier, eventually it's going to strike the barrier and all of the waves are going to be stopped, blocked by the barrier except for the horizontally vibrating parts of the wave. In other words, this light is now what's referred to as horizontally plain polarized light. The light is now only vibrating basically in the horizontal dimension. And now we can take this one step further. What if this horizontally plain polarized light now approaches a second barrier 
and that second barrier is made of slats that are oriented vertically. Well, what's going to come through those vertical barriers is very little of the original light, and you can see that right here because these vertical barriers are now going to stop the horizontal component of that light and it's only going to allow whatever can slip between the actual barriers themselves to move through which is in fact now very little of the original light so how does this actually act in real life well here are two polarizing filters Polaroid filters and they're made of plastic and the actual Polaroid material is sandwiched in between two very thin sheets of plastic to form these lenses. And we can now talk about how these polarizing filters actually work. What you're looking at right here are two plastic polarizing lenses and they're sitting on top of this yellow pad of paper and you can certainly see that through them you can tell because I put an X on the piece of paper there so you know you can see through there and the lenses plain polarize just as I talked about before they plain polarize the light that goes through them so the light that reflects off the yellow background before it gets to the lens it actually is vibrating in all directions but the light that's actually coming through the lens is only vibrating in one direction and let me talk about how these filters are manufactured in the factory when they make these things they take a big roll of polyvinyl acetate which has basically the consistency and about the thickness of a very thin plastic wrap it's very stretchy. It's made of a polymer, long chain molecules. And what they do in the factory is they stretch this polyvinyl acetate sheet out to about five or six times its original length. And what that does is it not only stretches the polyvinyl acetate molecules, those long chain molecules, but it also lines them up. And by lining them up, they become very close together, very linear, and basically they form a grid very similar to the lines that are on that yellow piece of paper so that if I pass a light wave between those polymer molecules it actually only allows the light waves through if they're vibrating parallel to the lines of those molecules of polyvinyl acetate well the other thing that they do is they take that polyvinyl acetate and they submerge it in an iodine tincture and that iodine tincture is absorbed into the plastic and it fills in the places between those polyvinyl uh, acetate molecules and darkens it so it forms a dark lens that polarizes the light and only allows it to, mo to vibrate in one dimension when it goes through the lens so each lens produces plain polarized light uh, where do you find this stuff? Well, you find it in computer monitors, uh, flat screen TVs. You find it, um, oh, the automobile industry uses a lot of polarizing material for things like uh, automobile instrument panels. Uh, but a lot of it, uh, about 1% of the production, 1 or 2% is used for polarizing sunglasses, polarized lenses and sunglasses. And they stop glare. I'm going to talk about what glare is and how it stopped a little bit later. If you look at these lenses and you have them lined up in just the right way, if they're lined up in just the right way, they will allow the light to travel through them. No problem light goes through it but if you turn them so that so that the molecules of polyvinyl acetate uh, cross each other then none of the vibrations of light can get through it and it'll block the light right out so all I have to do is turn that one corner of a quarter of a turn just like that and it will certainly block the light right out just like that blocks it out so some one way you can see through it and the other way you can't if you have them lined up so that they are at cross, what's referred to as cross nickels, where the lines of polymer molecules cross each other, then none of the vibrations of light can make it through that filter. And that's what you see right there. Blocked out and all lined up just right.
pretty cool stuff. And you can do this if you if you take an old pair of polarizing sunglasses and take the lenses out. You can do the same thing. Uh, you can amaze your kids with it. So it's a pretty cool thing to do. Well, here's one of those cool applications of polarizing filters. The screen of this cell phone that you see here, this Samsung cell phone, actually emits plain polarized light. And if I, I, I actually have one of these uh, polarizing filters sitting on top of it, and if I turn this, I can actually get it to the point where it, it will actually cross nickels with the screen and block out all of the light. And if I continue and line those polymer molecules up again, it will allow the light from the cell phone screen to pass through it again. So that is, again, because of the plain polarized light from the cell phone screen. See that? That's cool science. Uh, here's another simple example. This is a, a computer screen. Actually, actually, it isn't. It's actually a small flat screen TV I use as a computer monitor here. And if I put this polarizing lens in front of it, give it a little turn, you see that the light coming from that screen is actually plain polarized because I can block it out with a polarizing filter. Well, the diagram that you see here shows how glare is reflected from the hood of a car. Well, you start out with, with the sun producing light that's vibrating in all different dimensions. It's vibrating vertically, it's vibrating horizontally, coming down through space, entering the atmosphere, coming down through the atmosphere to strike on the hood of your car. And even though that light is vibrating in all different dimensions, once it hits the hood of your car, that's going to change. Once the light hits the hood of your car, those vertical vibrations are going to either be absorbed by the hood or they're going to be changed into horizontal vibrations because, of course, the hood of the car is horizontal. And so the light that reflects from the hood of the car is, in fact, horizontally plane polarized light. That simply means light that vibrates horizontally as opposed to the sunlight that was vibrating in all different dimensions. The light that vibrates from the hood of the car is horizontally plain polarized light or glare. It's referred to as glare. So the light that comes through the windshield and hits you in the face is horizontally plain polarized light. It's glare. Suppose that you're driving down the road and you are driving towards the sun and the light coming down from the sun is reflecting off the hood of your car and up into your eyes and so to stop that you reach down and you put on your polarizing sunglasses Polaroid sunglasses well that's a brand name but polarizing lenses are in those sunglasses and if you stop and think about that the light that comes down and hits the hood of your car from the sun is just like the light that's coming down from this from this lamp striking the table and reflecting back up to the camera. Some of those waves coming down from the light are vibrating horizontally and when they strike the table they reflect off the table horizontally vibrating horizontally up to the camera and enter the camera lens. Well some of the waves that come from the light are not vibrating horizontally they're vibrating vertically and when they bounce off the table or reflect off the table, they are converted into waves that vibrate horizontally. And because the waves are vibrating horizontally when they reflect off the table, what we can say is that the table reflects horizontally plane polarized light. That means light that's vibrating only in one plane horizontally. So just like the hood of your car, that table is causing all the waves that reflect off of it to vibrate horizontally. So if you want to stop them, all you have to do is take your polarizing lens and put it over your eye in the right orientation and it will cut out that horizontally plain polarized light that you call glare. Horizontally plain polarized light is glare 
and if you wear sunglasses in which the polymer molecules in the lens are lined up vertically, then the horizontal wavelengths, the horizontally vibrating wavelengths, can't get through it. In other words, the glare, which consists of horizontally plain polarized light, can't get through that lens. It's stopped by the lens. So that's how polarizing lenses decrease glare. And you can see it very clearly right there. Glare and no glare. That's cool science.